Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So very recently I have just been getting tons of questions to A, do a video on Dua fragrances and then B, just tons of questions about Dua fragrances in general. So here we are. We are going to film an entire video talking about all of the Dua fragrances that I have in my collection. I have got 16 different Dua fragrances at this point. Usually when I order from them, I order when they are doing a 30% off sale, which they are right now. Um, Sometimes they will do, and I bet around like 4th of July, they'll do a just a straight 30% off of anything. Um, but right now I think it's a 30% off if you spend $150 or, or more, which is super easy to do. I usually buy no less than three bottles of Dua at a time because there are so so many that i want and yeah um but anyways let me quit rambling i'm gonna jump right in these are in no particular order i've got a whole bunch here i'm gonna jump right in so this first one that i have is one that i literally just got in the mail like a few days ago i just ordered four more um i ordered all of the clones of the Guerlain, like the higher end Guerlain line. So this first one is called Iris Cafe and this is a clone of, I believe it is called Iris Torafe or Tor, I think it's Torafe. Um, yeah. And this is beautiful. This is a coffee Iris fragrance. This is probably like the strongest, most la lo most long lasting iris fragrance that I have in my collection. This is beautiful. It's like a deep, rich, thick smelling iris fragrance. It's got tons of body to it. The coffee is beautiful, it's smooth. It's not, um, it's not a synthetic smelling coffee like in any way. It's a beautiful, natural, smooth, like black coffee note. It's got a creaminess to it. The iris is powdery. It's stunning. These, I will say, every single, I have one fragrance here that does not, that isn't a, a complete beast. And that one is a brand new one and I've only tested it in hot weather. So I can't even, I really can't even speak to the per, uh, performance of that one because I'll need to test it in cooler weather. Um, but every single Dua fragrance that I own is an absolute beast. They last forever. They outperform whatever they're cloning usually by far. Um, and I love Dua because they they clone fragrances that they clone a lot of fragrances that are like limited edition or they're limited to one area or they were only created for say like the Russian market or they're exclusive to like one department store in London called Harrods, like they're Harrods exclusives. Um, they will get bottles of these fragrances and then clone them to make them available to everybody. And I adore that uh, because things that we normally wouldn't even be able to get our noses on uh, become available to us. Cloned, yes, maybe not exactly like 100% spot on, but I've, I have found that my Dua clones are usually 99% the same as whatever they're cloning. Um, I've never gotten anything that I'm like, well, that's completely different, you know? Um, anyways, so that is Iris Cafe. I love it. It's a gorgeous fragrance. I'm going to try to get a decant of all of the fragrances that I have um, that I don't have the original of. I'm going to try to get decants of so I can test them side by side. If you guys would like me to do a video doing that, like if I can find a decant of the Iris Torfe or whatever it's called, um, I will get decants and then I'll test them side by side. If you guys are interested, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. So anyways, that is Iris Cafe. 
The second one, okay, this is another iris fragrance and this is a fragrance called Iris and White Chocolate and this is a clone of a Guerlain fragrance called Iris Ganache which has is a discontinued fragrance. Um, iris Ganache is incredibly difficult to find and when I first got this, now the thing about Dua fragrances, when you first get them, you do need to spray them a few times and then you need to let them sit. They do continue to macerate. Um, I believe that they say on their website that they obviously let their fragrances macerate, but they continue to macerate and change and get better. So sometimes when you get one, if you spray it and you don't like how it smells right at that minute, give it a few sprays, put it aside for, you know, three months or something and then revisit it. If you don't like it then, then maybe you just don't like it, but they definitely need some time. Um, I've just found that with all of my Dua fragrances. They get better with time. So when I first got this one, I immediately ripped it out and sprayed it on me. I was so excited to see what Iris Ganache smelled like. And I'm not even kidding you guys. This one smelled like an absolute cat litter box on me. It smelled like cat litter and poop. And oh my gosh, I was so disgusted. My I had my mom smell it because I was like, is it just me? Is there something wrong with my nose? And she was like, no, I totally smell it. Well, I sprayed this one a lot. I gave it a good like 10 sprays outside and then I brought it back in and I put it on the shelf and I let it sit for... I've had this one for maybe a week and a half now. So I've let it sit for like a week and a half and it's already changing. And I can already, it's like sweetening up and it's just changing. It's beautiful now. So I'm glad that if I would have judged it from that first initial spray, oh my goodness, I would have like put this in the trash immediately because it smelled so crazy at first. But like I say, it's already changing and by the fall when I'm ready to wear this, I think that it's going to be gorgeous. But yeah, this is iris and white chocolate. So beautiful powdery iris, sweet chocolate. It's really nice. Um, I'm excited for fall to give this one a really good wear test. And like I say, that's a clone of iris ganache. Okay, this next one is called herbs and sea salt. I love this. So herbs and sea salt is a clone of wood sage and sea salt from Jo Malone. Uh, I went through like a 30 mil bottle of the wood sage and sea salt years ago. I loved it, but it doesn't, and it didn't last on my skin. Um, so when I saw that Dua had a clone of it, I was like, I'm just going to buy the Dua because I know that it will be a beast. It will last forever. So I can have the best of both worlds. I can have my Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt, but have something that lasts. And this is beautiful. It's fresh. It's got salt in it, but, and usually salt notes are problematic for me, but not this one. It's beautiful. It's, it's just a really nice, it's like a simple fragrance. It's only got, I think, three or four notes in it, but I really, really love it. So that is herbs and sea salt. Next we have Drowning in Vanilla. This one is a clone of Nishane's Ani which is a beautiful, heavily spiced vanilla fragrance. I love this one. This is one that uh, when I first got it and sprayed it, it was just all spice. I couldn't smell vanilla at all, um, which was fine. I liked it even then, but now that I've had it for a good long, I've had this one for probably a year now or longer maybe, um, but now that I've had this one for so long and it sat for so long, the vanilla has really, really had time to, to really deepen and everything is beautiful and macerated. So this is a gorgeous, creamy, heavily spiced vanilla fragrance. I love it. So that is Drowning in Vanilla. Next we have another Guerlain clone. This is called Tonkalicious and this is a clone of Tonka Imperial. Um, this one is brand new. I just, I like literally just got this. Um, maybe five or six days ago. So this one just needs to sit and macerate. It smells amazing. I mean, it smells 
like a beautiful creamy tonka fragrance it's got some spices in it it's gorgeous i know like i can already tell that after this one sits for a couple months it's going to be incredible and i'm going to live in this in the fall probably oh it's so yummy i think it's got vanilla in it too Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to smell this one. Like I say, in even like a month, it's probably going to just smell amazing. So that is Tonkalicious. Okay, next we have Caramel Palm Delight, and this is one of my favorites. This, <sighs> this is like a caramel apple, seriously. Like a beautiful, creamy, or more like a caramel apple caramel apple milkshake. This I think is like in the concept series and I'm pretty sure this is Killian's apple brandy uh, and Zerjoff Lyra, like a mixture of those two. It smells amazing. It You get like the caramel from Lyra and then the apple brandy, it, the apple from the apple brandy and you just get this beautiful creamy like caramel apple fragrance. It's so yummy. It's so stunning. I adore this one. So that is Caramel Palm Delight. Okay, next we have one. I found this one on Mercari. It was really inexpensive, so I grabbed it because I had never smelled the original Penhaligon's Halfetti, and this is called Village of Caroutlac. Kara, Kara, I'm probably butchering that, but um, this is, like I say, a clone of Penhaligon's Halfetti. It's really, really nice. It's, um, this would not be for everybody. This one leans just a touch masculine, but it's got a beautiful, I don't even know. I think this one might have a touch of leather in it. And I'm usually not the biggest fan of leather, but there's something about this one. It's super smooth. It's just a beautiful fragrance. So I will have the notes on the screen for you with this one. I think this has got some, um, I don't know, like herbs and spices. It's it's really unique. Um, I've never, you know what? Actually, I do have um, my perfume fairy. She sent me over a, I think she sent me over a sample of Halfetti. So I could definitely compare the two. Like I say, if you guys are interested, I can compare them. Um, so anyways, that is called Village of Carrotlack. Okay, next we have one of my favorites in my collect in my Dua collection. I love this fragrance. It's one of my most complimented fragrances like in my entire perfume collection. This is called Palm Fire. This is another one from the concept series. This is By the Fireplace and Killian Apple Brandy mixed and Oh my gosh, is it gorgeous. It smells exactly like By the Fireplace, but if you added apple to By the Fireplace, like if you added this beautiful, juicy Granny Smith apple to By the Fireplace, you get Palm Fire. It smells amazing. This reminds me of like fall, Halloween, apple bobbing, like apple orchards, like a bonfire in an apple orchard. It's stunning. One of my favorite fall fragrances of all time. It's like fall in a bottle for me. I can smell this and it gives me like warm, cozy fall vibes. I adore this fragrance. So that is Palm Fire. It's one of my favorite duos in my duo collection. It's one of my favorite fragrances in my entire perfume collection for that matter. So Palm Fire. Okay, next we have one I was so excited when I saw Dua made a clone of this because I adore the original fragrance. I do have several decants of the original um, and I can tell you that the two smell almost identical. This is Amberlicious and this is a clone of uh, Hermes Ombre Nargile and oh my gosh, it is the most beautiful like almost it's like a caramely amber it's a sweet caramely like delectable amber i adore it and like i say i do have um i do have several decants of ombre nargile and the this smells 99.9 .9 exactly like it i love it and it's funny somebody uh, made a comment on one of my videos and said because 
Sometimes there are a couple people that do odd fragrances just absolutely do not work for. It's like they they've gotten them, they've tried them, and there's something in them that just doesn't agree. Um, and I could see that. I could see that happening. And somebody that that happened to, she got this. Um, and she disliked this so much that it ruined ombre nargile for her too. So, <laughs> like, she hated this so much that she can't stand ombre nargile anymore, which is so sad because it's such an amazing fragrance. But they smell almost exactly alike. Um, like, literally exactly alike. But that's, that's the one thing that I would caution anybody with is that don't judge it by what you get the, the first time you spray it when you, right after you first get it. These really are meant to be kept and stored for a little while before you can enjoy them. They do change. Um, and it's happened with every single one that I've gotten. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, but I adore this fragrance so much. It's such an amazing clone. So that is uh, Amberlicious. And then I also have, I also have Amberlicious Cherry, which is again uh, from the concept series. And this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and Ombre Nargile from Hermes. And it's gorgeous. It's, um, it's Ombre Nargile with Cherry. It's so, so beautiful. This is another one I get compliments when I wear this. It's beautiful. If you like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, I think you would really like it. Uh, the Lost Cherry aspect comes through much stronger than the Ombre Nargile in this one. It's beautiful. I love it. So that is Amberlicious Cherry. Okay, next I have got Crater, and this one is missing a lot because my husband went through a crater phase where he loved this. Uh, crater is a clone of Maison Francis Kirkjian um, Grand Soir, which is a gorgeous amber perfume. It's beautiful. It's um, It's got some vanilla in it that I can smell in the base. It's really nice. If you like amber fragrances and you know you like Grand Soir, I think you would really like it. Um, I think I yeah, I do have a sample of Grand Soir, so I could definitely test these side by side if you guys are interested in that, just let me know. So that is Crater. Next, we have Takes Two to Tango, and this is a clone of Mask Milano's Tango. This is beautiful. This is, I have a Tango in my Mask Milano discovery kit. So I can definitely compare the two side by side again if you all are interested. That might be a fun video, comparing my duas next to the originals. I can go through and find decants of everything that I don't have and maybe I could do a comparison video and let you guys know. But anyways, I love Tango. This is a beautiful amber fragrance. It's a kind of a sweet amber. It's a traditional smelling amber. I adore this. This is one of those that when I first got it, it smelled completely different than what it does now. I've had this one for a few months now and it smells incredible now. Uh, when I first got it, it was, it was incredibly pungent. It was sharp smelling. Uh, it hadn't like, it hadn't macerated and really like, and everything hadn't married together very well yet. Now it is smooth and buttery and slightly sweet. It is the most stunning amber fragrance. I'm so glad. That's why I usually when I get them and I spray them and I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. I just put it to the side and I'm like, you know what, I'll revisit it a couple months, you know, in a couple months and we'll see how I feel. I now, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I am so happy I picked this up because at first I was kind of regretting it, but I should know better. Uh, but anyways, that is takes two to tango. Okay, next we have another Guerlain clone. This is called Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla, and this is a clone of Gourmand Coquine from Guerlain, from the high-end Guerlain line, and this is beautiful. Right now, but I just got this one. This is, uh, I've had this for maybe like five or six days, and 
I have sprayed it a whole bunch. I've worn it a couple times, but it's not ready. Uh, I can tell that this one, this one's going to change. Right now it just smells like a Hershey bar. Literally, it smells exactly like a melted Hershey bar. But I know that this is gonna change. It's gonna become more complex. I, I just know it's gonna change. So I'm gonna put this one aside for a couple months and revisit it. Um, probably right in time for fall is when this one's gonna be ready to really start wearing. It's gorgeous though. I can detect the rum in it, but it's not, the rum note isn't boozy yet. Um, it's like I can smell it, but it hasn't, I don't know, it hasn't like aged. I don't know what it, why they're like that, but they just are. It's gonna be amazing though. I love the way this smells. I really, really want, after a couple of months, I'll come back to this one and I really, really wanna get a decant of Gourmand Coquine and compare it. So anyways, that is called Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla. Uh, next we have a really lovely one. This is called Succulent and this is why I love Dua so much because uh, succulent is a clone of a slumber house fragrance and I cannot remember the name of the slumber house fragrance. I'll have it on the screen for you though. Um, but yeah, it's called succulent. It's a pear fragrance. This smells literally like buttery stewed pears. This has got a green aspect to it though. It's like buttery stewed pears and their leaves. It's beautiful. I love this. This is very, very creamy. It's more buttery than it is sweet. It does have a touch of sweetness, but it's not a sweet tart pear. This is a buttery stewed pear that has been stewed in a thick, thick sugary syrup, but without being too sweet. It's more buttered than anything. It's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. This is like a one spray and done though. You do not need a lot of this. Um, and this is definitely more of like a fall winter fragrance, but I love this. One of the more unique fragrances in my collection, hands down. So that is succulent. Okay, next we have Palm Trempe, and this is a one for one clone of Killian Apple Brandy. Um, and it, this is beautiful. This is just like a boozy Granny Smith apple fragrance. It's gorgeous. It's, it's pretty simple. Like I say, just rum or brandy, just like booze and Granny Smith apple. It's tart. It's boozy. It's yummy. It's sweet. It's amazing. I love this one. So, uh, that is Palm Trempe. And then last but not least, we have Caribbean Casino. This is a gorgeous fragrance. This is a clone of, this is from their concept series. This is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540 and uh, Virgin Island Water from Creed. So you get the yummy lime and coconut with the saffron and it's gorgeous. You get that kind of muskiness from the Baccarat Rouge 540, but the freshness from the lime and the coconut. This is one of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection, hands down. Uh, e this is one that even after I wear it for an entire day, go to sleep, wake up the next morning, go to take a shower, wash. When I get out of the shower, I can still smell it. Like that's how persistent this fragrance is. It's beautiful though. I love this. It's like the perfect hot weather, summer fragrance. Ugh, I love it. I love it so much. So anyways, that is Caribbean Casino. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of, let's see if I can, see if I can do this. Oh, those are all of the Dua fragrances that I have in my collection. I do hope that you all enjoyed this and that you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.